Hello, now you can hear me. Hi. Hello, egg. First goat, best goat. First goat, best goat. With your shiny partner badge. It's so fun to see, like, you've got the VIP, you've got the first, you've got the partner. And then your name is pink, too. It's all very good. <laughs> oh, you can hear a truck. That's a loud truck. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. <laughs> Hi, Gladi. Um... 
You do have the sickest little badge layout. It's very true. It's very good. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't you. I was muted for like a hot second. And then I, I figured out how to unmute. Um, but we are gonna do goat stream today. I need to milk Lark. That's my goal, my hope, my dreams. And um, also some hangout and cuddle time with the goats. Grumpy is at work today and I have Tiny Totes at home. She's in her pajamas still, so uh, be warned that there could be uh, dog breakouts and chaos. But my hope is for some cozy morning time, because I don't know about you, but I am very much looking forward to, once Lurk is milked, refilling my coffee and sitting with the goats and getting some nice cuddles. And so I hope that will be very good. But yes, Lottie, how are you doing? Egg, what kind of plant are you going to get? I want to hear all about it. I hope we get to see pictures of new plant baby. Oh no, Lottie. Lottie, you've been streaming a ton. It's been so nice to be able to see your beautiful face every day, but also just a few more days and Jojo starts school and then you get to be free <laughs> a little bit, a little bit freer. Freer is probably a better way to say it because that's how I have been describing it to myself once for one tiny totes gets to start school on the 12th is on the 12th, I will get to be a little bit freer. I will get to be able to have a little bit more time to uh, spend doing some of the other things I want to be doing that are not as easy to do when there is a small bean who needs so much so much attention <laughs> um the way you want to fast forward time i understand i am right there with you it's a pink princess philodendron very cute and have pink in their leaves cute well that will be a very good addition addition to your little plant family i do think it's about that time for me to go and grab the camera the outside camera right now it's just pointed at the chickens um and get our food stuff ready so you're gonna not see me for a minute and then you will see me more <laughs> um so let's see if i switch over here and then i'm going to turn off this microphone so there isn't any duplicates and i'm going to disappear amethyst do, you do speak and all this time i thought you were just a big wild quiet silent person thing hmm. why didn't you tell me i mean I'm i love you amethyst how are you today how is your friday going i'm sending you big hugs you have one on your list of plants to get. Ooh, I wish I could garden and have plants and not kill them. But I need creatures that will yell at me if they are hungry, which all of my animals do. <laughs> okay, I will be right back. So you're gonna see me disappear and we're just gonna have the, the chicken camera and then I will, you will see me again shortly. <laughs> um, If I can remember how to turn off this camera. Ready, Well, wow.
Should we say good morning officially to the chickens? Probably. <laughs> Let's say good morning to the chickens. <laughs> bum bum. Reba, what are you doing in there? All by yourself, everybody else is over here. Hi ladies. <laughs> Chicky chickies. Let me know if you guys can hear my voice. Hi, Reba. Do you want to come over and say hello? The girls. I know. They're just like, I don't know. <laughs> Hi. Are you guys being so good today? What do you think? You got a lot to say. Yep, you can hear. I know. The, <laughs> the chickens are very noisy. Hang on. Let's switch you over so you can see me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, friends. Oh, it has been a while since we have used this setup. <laughs> okay, so no chickens. You cannot follow me. Plan number one, feed the boys. Let the boys out of their barn. Everyone is very noisy this morning. They all have much to say. Mainly it's, I'm hungry, where's the food right now? Let's see. Oh, we're gonna come into the garage for a quick second so I can grab my bucket. And away we go. I know goats, I hear you. <laughs> They're very chatty. But I think it's gonna be a nice day today. It's like a little drizzly, which is nice. Like it's been so hot, but it does feel really humid. Like it's gonna rain. So it's probably gonna rain, which is not what I want. I know girls, you're next, don't worry. I already put the girls food in their spot on the playhouse. And so as soon as the boys are fed. We'll go take care of the girls. And then if we want, we can have some extra time with the boys later. I just found that that has to be the case. Otherwise, there's just too much chaos because everybody knows that everybody else is getting food. And it's like, to be fair, I understand. Like if I knew everybody else was getting food and I had to sit and wait. Huh, boys? Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. I know you're very hungry. Let's get you some food. Ready? Ba -ba -bum. And ba -ba -bum. Um, if you move, I can put more food in. Thanks. The boys. Huh. Hi, Mash. How are you today? I know, I know. And Dewey and Dandy, it's cute because um, like Kristoff and Mickey and Steven kind of stay together and then Mash and Dewey and Dandy stay together. How deep can you get your head in there? How deep can it go? So far, okay, I'm gonna let you guys eat. I'm gonna go do the girls and we'll come back for some cuddles with the boys in a little bit, okay? Okay, boys, I'll see you after your breakfast. <laughs> They're so floofy and the boys are getting so big. And just like, it's so fun to watch because for boy goats, it feels like even though technically they're mature enough at like six months to, you know, make babies, they are, uh, they don't like fully mature in their bodies until they're at least a year. So it's really fun to kind of see see them uh, grow and grow into their little like bearded looks. I'm curious about Lark's boys, if they'll be bearded or not. I don't know. They really are so big. Okay, hang on. I opened the door and out the girls go. And 
Hi, Marlo. It is I, Toddies. <laughs> For some morning time with the goats. Mainly because I was realizing, like, I have been needing some extra goat time. And so maybe you guys need some extra goat time, too. Because sometimes... <laughs> they just said, let's go. It's so true. Oh, Lark is already hopping towards the milk stand. She's already ready. And Daisy is helping. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can I sit here, ma'am? Thank you. <laughs> I know. Lark, you tell Tammy. You tell her that you don't want to share. That is for you to do. <laughs> I'm trying to think where would be a good place to put the camera while I milk. And I just not sure. Oh, I forgot to change the going live notification. I feel that I should stay that way forever. It is pretty good. It's a pretty good notification. Oh, what did the dog say? And so I'm just like helping Lark's udders feel nice and ready. I think if I do this way, you can see Lark a little bit. <laughs> I know, you tell her, you tell her. Or a milk pro. I know, I was thinking like, man, if I had something that like I could put on my head and wear, that might be like the easiest, but it would need to have like a really good Wi-Fi connection. Cause right now I have to stream using my data connection through YouTube and then pull that to take it to Twitch because otherwise it's just too hard. And so I know, Lark, you're annoyed because Tammy's trying to steal your food. You're okay. Why do you have to kick me? Oh, okay. I don't think you're all done, ma'am. She says, no, I'm obviously not. That is not how we get your milk stand food. Ladies, there is a better way. Well, and right now, because Lark is still nursing Daisy, like, I'm not... Mainly, I'm milking just for to make sure that she's comfortable and that she's not over full. And so I'm not as, like, pushed to get a full quart from her right now. But isn't it funny, like, Daisy's, like, fighting her for the food. Daisy, did you win? Or is there no more food left? There's no more food left. Girls gone wild. It's true. It's very true. But that's okay. We'll go sit with them. Lark, are you all done? Or do you want to get back up there? Oh, okay. Fine. Well, <laughs> there was milk in this bill, but bucket. Shoshi! Shoshi, I hope you're having a very good day. Okay, Lark, I'm not going to milk you this morning. I'm going to let you just be you. How's that sound? Does that sound good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just here for the goat cuddles. Let's be real. I'm just going to sit and enjoy. <laughs> Hi, Elsa. Hi, Adora. Hello, sweetie. Here, let me turn around. I just have a lark butt in my face, but that's kind of par for the course. I'm getting to pet the goats who are moving. You know, I was just talking about how a lark reminds me so much of a horse, especially like on a hot day because her coat shines so much. And I think partly it's the color, partly it's like her, um, comp like her body composition. But she is definitely, like, she looks like a, like a thoroughbred, I think. But maybe that's just because I'm her mama and I'm, <laughs> I'm biased. What do you think, darling? Hmm? What do you think? <laughs> huh, little Elsa. And then we got little Raya here. It was Lark is trying to defend the food area even though there's no food left in there. You're okay, Adora. 
Yay! Did the sound work? I'm not able to hear it because I'm outside, but did your Shoshi sound work? Huh, Adora, what do you think? Are we getting the pets? Lark, excuse me, ma'am. You are so big and so It worked! Yay! Oh. <laughs> it worked for some. Huh, Adora. What do you think? Hi, Lark. You can't also be jealous. Hi, hi. I know. I love you, too. I do. Lark likes to give kisses. She likes to, like, give little nose boobs. Oh, also, but do you want to see, like, the cutest little daisy? And then there's Raya, still nursing, even though she's eight months old. And does not need to be nursing at all. Oh, it was very quiet. Okay, I'll turn it up um, next time I'm at my computer, Shoshi. If you could shoot me a DM to remind me. Um, but it is like, it's like 10 seconds of the Jaws song. So it's just enough not to get DMCA'd, but enough that we know that Shoshi is here. Incoming shark. Huh. Elsa, are you going to start talking? What do you got to say? Hmm? Oh, really? Everyone's like investigating the milk stand. Huh, except for Adora, who is here for the pets. Hang on, ready? For the pets. <laughs> Daisy is so big. I, like, she is almost as tall as her mom, but she is still smaller. So uh, that's the other thing, too. You were talking about how it takes a full year for goats to kind of, like, get their full adult body composition. So I'm going to be really curious to see Lark's babies because they're mixed, right? So they're um, technically, like... I think that the, the numbers are like 67, 37 or something like that, um, Nubian, Nigerian. And so I'm really curious to see like how big her babies get. I'm curious to see if the boys get beards because I don't even like know much about Nubian boy, like bucks because I'm so used to my Nigerian dwarf bucks with their big beards and everything. And so we shall see. Tammy and... Lark are deciding who gets to... Oh, Lark, goat battle. Hi, Adora. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I know, good morning. Adora's like, are you going to give me more pets? Because I'm ready. Hi, I know it's been too long since we've gotten to just sit. I know. I know. Yes, you are so sweet. Yes, you are. Tammy's, I think, in heat. She's yelling. Do you like my shirt? Do you need to eat it? I promise you, it's not real food. But I've got a little Raya curiously investigating as well. <laughs> huh. I know. I know. Do you want to give me a nose boop? Can we wear a nose boop? Lark is very good at the nose boop. Tammy, contain yourself. I don't know if you can see Tammy behind the playhouse, wagging her tail, yelling at boys. Adora, you have to be patient with me. You can't be forceful with your cuddles. I know Lark is also usually very forceful with her cuddles, but the goat nibbles are very good. They're very sweet, as long as they don't get too chewy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> huh. As long as you don't actually nip me. I don't mind nibbles. Yeah, I don't mind the nibbles. Are you just too cute right now, Adora? Oh, is that so good? Is that just the best? Hi, Elsa. Are you curious? Are you jealous? Oh, Adora says, no, these are my cuddles. I will not share. Excuse me. Everybody else get away. <laughs> Adora, you got to share the cuddles, my friend. My friend, you must share the cuddles. I am going to feel you up a little bit. Maybe you aren't smuggling babies. Maybe I'm just... Maybe you're just getting a little chubby. Are you just a fluffy girl? That would be great. <laughs> it would be great if you were just fluffy. Because then we could actually plan out your breeding in a way that would make sense, right? Yeah? She's like, I don't know. I'm just enjoying all the pets. <laughs> Elsa, you don't need to yell while you're licking crumbs. We know you're here. We know it. 
<laughs> huh. Adora, you are being so sweet today. Yeah, you are. She is a thick plane, I think. I mean, it's possible that she could be smuggling, but I, like... Her width also could just be that they've been getting a lot of um, pasture grays lately. And so, like, it kind, it can make them feel a little bloated. But I'm not feeling... Like, her udder isn't growing at all. Which doesn't necessarily mean anything. She'd be a first-time mama, so... There's all kinds of possibilities, but... There's all kinds of possibilities. Um, is there a way to tell that she's pregnant besides go ultrasound? Honestly, like, ultrasound or blood test... And, um, and like I could call goat guru Nancy and I, she, um, like does Omi to like, like she's going to, um, weather the Lark boys, Dewey and Dandy for me, which is like to basically like neuter them. Um, but yeah, it's like goat ultrasound or blood test primarily. And so like, I'm, that's why I'm kind of like feeling because one of like the ways you can tell is, um, like, depending on how far along she is, you are just, like, really given the snuggles right now. Ma'am, this is so nice. Um, but the biggest thing is, like, watching the udder and seeing if the udder starts filling up, especially because she'd be a first-time, like, they would call her a first-time freshener, which means, like, first-time mom. Um, and so, like, feeling around her tummy and stuff, like, it's possible, but I don't, I'm not as certain now, before I was certain that she might be smuggling, but I'm feeling on her left side. What's this? Is this babies? Are you smuggling the babies? Maybe? If she is, then she's not as far along as I thought she was. And so that's good at least. Huh. I know. You could just sit here with all the pets forever, huh? Look at all this fur that just came off of you. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can see it. You are shedding. You are a floofy shedder, huh? I know, I know. But yeah, like she's definitely, here, I'm switch it around so we can all look at her together. Um, but like she's definitely round, but she's not like, she's more just goat round because goats do like the way that they're, um, bodies work as they do like their stomachs look bloated and stuff depending on what they've been eating and, and all kinds of things and so it could just be that but I wouldn't be surprised because I know that you were really trying you were trying huh do you think anybody else would like to give me cuddles or is it just you Adora is it because you're forcing oh my gosh babies run babies run Where are you guys going over there, hmm? Darlin's all over here by herself. What are you doing, darling? What are you doing, sweet princess? She says, I don't know. I'm just a goat. I'm just wandering. <laughs> I just love that, like, Adora is still right here. Here for the pets, huh? Yeah. I know. You're such a good girl. Are you basically just a dog? Are you just a dog in a goat body? Is that what it is? I mean, don't get offended. Oh, you can if you need to be. <laughs> she's, she's mad at me now. She's like, I can't believe you called me a dog. Can't believe it. Unacceptable behavior. Really, Adora? You've abandoned me. Well, I guess it might be time to go get some boy goat cuddles. Because they're yelling. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I hear you. Everybody has a lot to say. I know. I, I cannot wait for you to vet them. Um, there you can see babies, babies over on the other side of the fence. Um, because the... But see, when you're looking down at Adora, she definitely looks more pregnant. Excuse me, hi, Lark. <laughs> I know, we're going to go pet the boy. Lark, stop trying to eat my pants. Thank you. 
Yeah, how many days until you get to pet them, Egg? <laughs> huh. Hi, ladies. Raya and Darwin. Oh, everyone's very interested that I'm on the ground, not in the playhouse. Adora's trying to eat my selfie stick. Hi, darling's getting the pets. Riot and Elsa have still been, excuse me, ma'am. That is my full arm. That is my full arm. I'm sorry I stopped petting you for five seconds. 13 days, I cannot believe it. It's coming up so fast. It's coming up so fast. Is there anything that you'll want to do before we head down to um, Oregon? Like while we're still in Washington, besides pet goats. Hmm. <laughs> I am appreciating that, like right now, I now have Dar. I sat down because I gave up. Because I have a Darlin and a Dora and Raya all trying to like get pets. Raya's still nervous about it. But she wants to be part of the, like, pile <laughs> by me. And if I stop petting Darlin, she bites me, which is not ideal. That's not a, something I want her to know how to do, but we're, we're taking, taking baby steps. Do not bite me. I see you. Both of you. Stop. stop. Hi, Lark. Hello. Yes, thank you for the kisses. Mwah. I love you, too. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, because I don't know, I can't remember what time you fly in, um, and what time we need to head down south, like, on what day, but depending on how much time we have. Okay. But honestly, like, if you wanted to just, like, sit outside with the goats for as long as we have, that's also totally understandable. Just bake some cookies and pet goats. <laughs> huh. That's all we want. That's all we want, is just to hang out and pet the goats. Adora, you just got dirt all over my tablet. Potato gets in the same day, like an hour before egg. You're talking about carpooling down to you and save the extra dive. That sounds great, actually. Like, saving the gas money. Honestly, I spent $5 a gallon on gas the other day. So, I am perfectly happy to have you guys carpool down to us together. Um, you land at, like, two my time. Perfect. Hi, Dora. <laughs> That'll be so good. I really want Raya to start wanting pets. Raya, come to me. Come to me. Little girl. Little girl. I know I see you. Oh, you're so brave. Adora, stop ruining it. <laughs> Adora, you're ruining it. You're ruining it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Hi. Hi, Raya. Do you like that camera? Is it interesting? Is it something new? Are you trying to eat it? It's not food. I am also continuing to not be food. Guys, guys. I continue to not be food. Hey, hey. What did I just say? What did I just say? Am I food? I am not food. I am giver of pets. Oh, no. I will give you pets, and you will not bite me. Deal? Deal. I don't mind the nibbles. Yeah, the nibbles are nice. It's when you bite me that I don't... I don't mind a nibble to let me know that you're interested in some attention. It's the, like, full, like, trying to actually eat me where we have to have some conversations, darling. Darling, your beard is very good today. Let's, can we get, like, a close-up? Uh, maybe. She keeps moving with the camera. <laughs> yeah, for sure, BRB. Uh, we can take your car to Oregon if we want to save on mileage. Um, that's, yeah, Marlo, honestly. Um, I think that one thing I want to do because we've got two weeks now, is, um, and today's Friday. My goal is, I think, on Sunday to sit down and do some, like, serious, like, planning around both uh, Ame's wedding and Egg's wedding, around, like, making sure I get funds I owe to people, to folks, um, for, like, hotel rooms and stuff, and kind of, like, figuring out all of those planning things. And so, um, my, my goal is to have all that together on Sunday, and so I'll probably, you'll probably get lots of messages from me on Sunday about planning some of that stuff but I'm I'm finally kind of getting into a point where like I'm 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 able to start kind of thinking about planning stuff ahead more than a week um but 
future brain has not been working the best. Thank you for those kisses, Lark. Oh my gosh, the kisses and the snuggles are so nice. I love you so much. It was a little slobbery. How did you manage to slobber on me? Hmm? Like, how? I have like hay slobber on my face. Um... I don't know if we're all staying. That's the other thing I have to look at and talk with Grumpy about is because I don't know. I know that we had talked about originally when I was working full time. Lark is like fully rubbing her head on me right now. I love you too. Um, but when we were originally talking about it, I was still working full time. And so like originally we weren't, but then we talked about how we maybe were and Ami said that we may be able to work, make that work. And so that's all part of my Sunday figuring out of things. Because worst case scenario, we could just take two cars, um, and uh, if people wanted to ride with Tiny Totes and Grumpy in the truck, or vice versa, and so, um, Raya, what are you doing? Trying to eat this? Maybe. Hi. Always Adora. Always. Always Adora for the snuggles. I do appreciate it. I do. I think it sleeps eight, but Ame has room on the farm too. Now I'm still having to actually be in one Airbnb. Right. Yeah. And so as far as I know, as far as the Airbnb count, my family has not been included in the count. Um, I think that it was like, if we were able to make it work, um, we could make it, we could figure something out kind of thing, but we haven't been able, I haven't had the brain power to think that far ahead yet. What if I take this out further? there. Now you can, can truly see why. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> A few folks have canceled. Okay. And, but we'll figure it out. Either way, it will be very good. It will be very fun. And it'll be so nice just to like get to see people in person and have some good like social time Huh. Adora. Ma'am. Are you just, like, too cute? Are you too cute? Why do you want to eat this? What is it about the selfie stick that is so, um, interesting to you? Can you tell me? Um... Last I heard from Ami, their tent rental should be available and possibly the cabin. Nice. Um, Adora. <laughs> Man. Are you, are you, <laughs> why? I don't know what you are wanting. I'm not quite sure what you're looking for here. I, can I just, I'm just going to take this over here. Here, I'll pet you. There. Is that better? Is that what you wanted? Were you just wanting pets? Yes, you just have a good anxiety, you need to know locations. Yeah, I think that's why I haven't, um, like, I'll be honest, that's probably a big part of why I haven't done much in terms of, like, my own personal family organizing around this stuff, because, like, um, a lot of the information is in a very big Discord group message with, like, hundreds of messages in between, mm -hmm. and so I, like, have not had the the brain power to like look through it like I'm excited and I'm very much looking forward to it but definitely the anxiety brain of like okay where like where exactly are we going and everything um and what exactly is the plan like sometimes I just want more information that I'm able to get at a certain moment um yes yeah Marlo needs to sleep in a bed that is number one priority um my anxiety, like, is also just, like, a matter of, like, I always just tell myself, worst case scenario, like, that's why it's, like, as long as we have some kind of vehicles, we have some kind of exit if we need exits, um, because that's what trauma does to your brain, is you always want to know where your exits are. <laughs> huh, Adora. I know. You don't have any trauma, though. You're just a goat. You just get to get pets and food. I am so excited. Because I think for Ame's wedding, I'm not sure who is coming who I haven't met in person yet besides Egg. Um, I haven't met Ame in person yet, so I'm very excited about like getting to give Ame a big hug and just squeeze them really tight. And um, I think that'll be very good. And I think, is Pasta coming? I can't remember. 
it's always hard too because like you know especially when you're friends with people on the internet and you have so many different sort of like internet friend groups like uh, you have to kind of deal with like, okay, but not everybody knows everybody and not everybody knows everybody the same way and not everybody is able to travel and all kinds of stuff. And so um, I always try to be aware of that a little bit. Huh. Huh, Adora. What if you just pull us in a wagon? How would that work? Would that be a good plan? Did you just burp on me? You did. I can smell it. It's gross. It smells like grass. Like a matcha latte. <laughs> huh. It's so funny because, like, the other girls are up at the playhouse now, like, yelling. You guys could have had pets from me at the playhouse earlier, but you chose not to. And now Adora is forcing pets slash trying to eat my hands. Huh. Huh. I know. Should we go see the boys? We haven't gotten to give the boys much pets yet. They were too focused on their breakfast. Should we go give the boys some hugs? You don't get to give the boys hugs, Adora. Sorry. No boy hugs for you. <laughs> oh, I know. I stood up. I stood up and I moved my body. Oh, look, here they come. They're like, wait, wait, wait. I'll give you more pets in a minute. Elsa can scream. She's got, she's got the screams. Tell me about it. You guys. You just want to snuggle Adora so much. I hope next year will be better so I can meet you all. Sucks being stuck. I know. Well, because you're way far on the East Coast. But hopefully, Lottie, you and Loco will get an RV. And then in the summers, if you wanted, maybe you could just come and stay for like a month. And then stay forever because it's not a cult. But I do want everybody to live here. Come live on the farm with me. Okay, hi boys. Hi, hello. I'm gonna come and sit with you all, I know. Can you believe it? Let me in. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna sit here because you guys are really all, it's so funny how much friendlier the boys are. I always forget. Like, Adora is super friendly, Lark is super friendly, but the girls always take longer to come for pets, whereas, like, hi, boys. Hi, Kristoff. Yeah, I think, I mean, maybe that's the new move, right, is um, for those of us in our generation who are not able to buy property because of capitalism and continued, uh, like, forest debt and the housing market being what it is what if everybody just gets rvs or tiny homes on wheels and drives them to my house to stay for long periods of time i mean i probably could like turn this place into like a goat retreat honestly oh my god the kids with jojo oh my gosh i feel like or like i think about like amethyst kiddo too it'd be fun like someday to even just do like a Twitch kids con. <laughs> like just like get all of our kiddos together would be so much fun. Huh. Huh guys. Hi Mickey. I know you're getting some sweet pets. Kristoff's getting some nice pets. Monster Mash. Hello. And then we have our babies over here. Steven and Dewberry and Dandy. Who are still trying to figure out the human thing. Still figuring it out. But it'll be fun. Also, Shoshi, uh, Tiny Totes is now asking to download Among Us. So we might have to figure out a way for the kiddos to play Among Us when we're, when they're not together. Because I know that um, Tiny Totes has already been talking about how she misses Ozzy and Pippin. Oh, Jojo is good with all kids. He's just so shy. That's so funny to imagine Jojo as being shy. I can imagine. But, you know, like, Ozzy's kind of shy at first, too. I think Tiny Totes does a good job of, like kind of gauging how other kids are because she's so used to she's she's very used to like neurodivergent humans and so she's really good at like gauging like okay what would work and like how can I get you to be my friend <laughs> huh oh my goodness Kristoff your skirts are not great so um Kristoff we took and well Mickey actually got his done somewhere else but uh, it's interesting to see because 
Kristoff and Mickey both um, still have, even though they had their, like, they were disbudded when they were babies, they have, like, some uh, horn growth. And so we'll need to keep an eye on it just to make sure it doesn't, like, it's not causing them any harm. But it looks like they're doing okay. They don't love me touching it, but that's fine. Huh, bud. Huh. Kristoff, are you the big boy? Are you the king? Why are you yelling? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi, Mickey. Mickey, your beard is looking very impressive today. It's looking very impressive. It is. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. I like it. It's good. It's good. Here, I'm just going to give you some scritches. Is that good? Scritches. Oh, the girls are jealous. I don't know if you can see. The girls be jealous. But you know what? The girls get lots of pets. You guys don't get as many pets all the time, and you guys are more friendly. You're more cuddly. You're stinkier, though. That's why. Huh. Christoph, are you a stinky boy? Huh? Are you guys stinky boys? Are you all so stinky? Oh, my goodness. Mickey Mouse. Sir. Hi. Hi. But it is funny, like, um, watching little kids with the goats. And it, my favorite was watching uh, Ozzy trying to protect his marshmallow from Lark the other day. <laughs> huh. Hi, Mash. You want some lovin'? Okay. Do you need to push against me for a little bit? Okay. I'm gonna win, bud. Yeah, I'm actually the herd king. Sorry. I win. I will always win. But thank you. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so right now, like, Mash is, like, letting me kind of pet him, but he's also trying to assert a little bit of dominance on me. And so he's pushing up against me like this. And so I'm pushing back just gently, but just so he knows that, like, if he tries to push against me, I win. Um, because I want them to always think of me as their, their mama, not as their girlfriend. <laughs> Cause I don't need to be peed on. I don't want it. I don't. Huh. Huh, boys? No, we don't need to be it. Huh. Hi, Mickey. Are you being a good boy? Hi. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. But it is funny to imagine. But I think that Hadley or Tiny Toads is kind of like that too, where like she can be a little shy at first, which is always so funny because, you know, we get so used to our kids. We forget that like just because they're extroverted with us doesn't mean that they're always extroverted in other social situations. And so I think I, I get that a lot. Hello. Sir. Sir. <laughs> what do you think, Mash? I want the babies. Can you get me the babies, sir? Can you convince the babies that I am not scary? Can you tell them that I'm nice and I give good pets? Can you tell them? They don't believe me. They don't. Mainly because also, like, especially Stephen had so much health stuff when he was a baby. Like, he had to have a lot of meds and things, and so he's not super, like, cuddly because of that, because, like, meds aren't fun, and, huh, I know it, huh, Mash, is it gonna rain, is it gonna rain, is that why you guys are kind of standing in your door of your barn, is it gonna rain, it feels like it's gonna rain at any moment, You have this very silly, like, piece of, like, fat on the top of your head, Mash. It's like you just have, like, a little fat head. Just a little fat head. Yeah, and it's good. It's good. It's a good head. <laughs> yeah. I know. Is that good? Get those scritches? Huh. Can we do nose boop? You want a nose boop? Ready? Mm. Or is it too hard? Too hard. 
Yes! I am sending all the love and self-advocacy vibes and advocacy vibes for your kiddos and for you and for everybody. I am sending you big hugs, Shoshi. Good luck. I believe in you. Um, do not get your pee pee area on me, sir, because you will pee and I don't want you to pee on me. Thanks. Oh yeah, work it. That's my favorite thing that MASH does particularly. I think all the goats kind of do it. Lark does it a lot, but MASH especially, like, will do this thing where he stands up and, like, just shakes his beard around. <laughs> like, he's just a little movie star model. Huh. Are you a model? Are you a movie star? Oh, hi. Thanks. Thank you for that. <laughs> <coughs> I know it. What's everybody else doing on this Friday? Are you working? Are you doing school stuff? Are you doing prep for kiddos for school? I don't know what I'm going to do. I have some emails I probably need to write. I might do some video editing. I'm way behind on my YouTube videos, which, like, you know, it's for fun. And so I can't really be behind on something that, like, is a false deadline that I create for myself. But in my head, in my head, I'm behind. And I would like to not be. I would love it if I could get the babies to let me pet them. Babies. Hi, Dandelion. Oh, wait, no, Dewberry. This one's Dewberry. Dandelion's behind. Dewberry. Dewey. <gasps> Steven is growing a tiny beard. I don't know if you can see his tiny beard, but he has a tiny beard that I just saw. And I did not realize that he had a tiny beard. He is growing up. Steven, you're not allowed. Hi. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Honestly, this weather today is, like, my ideal weather. Like, a like, few drops of rain here and there, but not, like, downpouring, cloudy, breezy. I'm not sweating. I feel like this is the first time in a month where I have not just been, like, some level of moist. <laughs> And so, Yasmin, hello, hello, my child. How are you? How is your Friday going? Um, I will have to do shout outs for everyone when I go back up to my computer because it's just like I can, I can manage chat from my tablet, but it's not super easy. <laughs> it's not the easiest. Mickey Mouse, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Excuse me, sir. Why are you yelling? We're right here. But yes, how are you today, Yasmin? How is your Saturday? Or, no, it's Friday. It's still Friday. How is your Friday? What are you going to do today? When do you start work again, Yas? I forget. Huh. What do you think, guys? Is it gonna rain? Is it gonna be a rainy day? Mickey, will you please be nice to the baby? Hi, Mash. Hi, bud. Yeah, you good boy. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. You're a good boy. This is your first week back. Okay, okay. I guess I, maybe I did I know that or did I not know that? Maybe I knew that and I just my brain didn't hold it in. I'm sorry. But how has the first week been? I know for a lot of folks, right, are back to school or back to work this week and next week. How are you guys all doing? How are you taking care of yourselves with the change in routines? You know who hates change in routines? Goats. Huh. I know. It's true. Here, what if I do this way? Hi, Dandy. <laughs> no, Dewberry. Dewberry is the brave one. Dandy is in the back, nervous, and then little Steven. Look at Steven's little beard! <laughs> I'm so, I just love his little beard so much. It's so little and cute. It's so little and cute. Uh, Mash, why is the side of your face wet? Sir, is it because of pee? Because that means we just made you touch it. This is gross. Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> Steven. Steven! Little baby! Ooh, Steven might have a nice sort of like mane type hair do kind of like how MASH does. 
like where Mash kind of has almost like a big mane with his this like I don't know what you call this this <laughs> um it's been okay you got that little sore throat so that sucked oh no I actually stayed home yesterday because on Wednesday my body felt like garbage from forcing yourself to go in two days when you weren't feeling great I'm glad that you gave your body a day is your body feeling better I'm also sad about the sore throat that is no good no good no good huh boys yeah I know what do you think do you want me to walk you somewhere if the girls weren't in their yard I would walk you guys around the big yard more but I just feel like you're just gonna go and harass the girls and with Tammy showing signs that she's in heat I would prefer if you would not harass her but you work later today and then at least you have a weekend that's good at least you have the weekend um but i hope that you're able to take care of your body because bodies need rest huh mickey will you tell them say dad say that bodies need rest huh yes are you just looking so majestic sir You just want pets. And you're like, I don't really care how I get them. I do. I want you to get more used to me touching the top of your head. I'm not going to touch your little horns, but I am going to touch your head if you get close. You want to love on them someday, Amethyst. Someday we'll have to do like a, a goat con <laughs> where um, everybody could just camp out for a weekend or something on the property. Because like we've got no space for like, especially for just a weekend to do a bunch of tents or something. I think that'd be really fun. And then everybody could come and pet the goats and just have a nice time. I really hope that you don't feel like a garbage can after work, Peach. Also, we need to um, plan our leggings podcast and when we want to talk about it. It might be fun to, like, do leggings podcasts, like, during a collab stream where we're, like, playing a game but also talking about leggings. <laughs> go con. Go con. Ha, huh, Mickey. It's funny because when the wind blows, um, like it's about to start raining, all the goats kind of pause and like look around like, hmm, should I be heading inside right now? What do you think, Nikki? Hi, Grumpy! How are you? Dandy, Dewberry, babies, baby boys, come to me. Come to me for pets. You're so close. You're so close. We're, no. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> a brain dump podcast? Actually, that'd be really fun. Um, so are you thinking, because like when I think of brain dump, I think of like uh, brain dump as like an ADHD tool where you uh, like, Basically, it's like the things that you need to like get out of your brain before you can go to sleep. So a lot of people will write down their brain dumps or type them out or say them out loud to somebody. Um, but I think it would be kind of fun to do a brain dump uh, podcast. We could still call it Legonomics because sometimes brain dumps are about leggings, right? <laughs> um, I was just going to come and show you the little corner that the, the boys have set up over here that they like. Grumpy, how's work? How's the office? Are you um, at the office or are you just driving around right now? Hmm. I want us to be legonomics but talk about anything we want. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, no. It's a leggings podcast that's not really about leggings. I thought that was clear. <laughs> <laughs> Get that tree. It's blackberry season two. Um, I, I think in 13 days, blackberries will still be ripe. So we could do some blackberry picking. Um, like the afternoon, evening that you guys get in and we could even like, 
make like uh like you could do like ice cream with blackberries on top or something for our snacky snacks yes tree time is very important but it's kind of fun too because we get to like really look at like mash's physique because he is built like a football player huh he's just a big boy he's a thick boy Standing on his tippy tippy toes to get that last little piece of bark. Good job. You did it. I'm so proud. I know. I'm very proud of you. You did it. And then Mickey is rubbing his head on this tree and yelling at it. Silly. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really curious to see if Lark's babies grow beards. Because they're also, like, they uh, were born pulled, so they were born without horns. Um, and so I'm just, like, curious, like, because um, a lot of goats that tend to, like, a lot of pulled goats, so goats that are born without horns that have those genetics, um, one, they tend to have boys. So Lark will always tend to have more boys than girls. But also, um, their hormones are different. Yes, sir? And so, like, because their hormones are different, which is why, like, they are they don't grow the horns as much, but they also, I mix, I'm curious about, like, you know, Lark's genetics are also different around the kind of fur that she grows versus the fur that the Nigerian dwarfs grow. So, it'll be interesting. Huh. What do you think, Mash? Sir? Are you just here for the cuddles? Yeah. You say, I'm just here for the cuddles. Why are you looking at me like this right now? Like, literally. Stop it. You're too cute. Mwah. Yes, I love you very much. I do. I do. I love you so much. Hi. Hi. Yes. Mm-hmm. Apparently, we're only six followers away from 500. I just saw that. Because I'm looking, I have to look at the stream manager on my tablet. I don't normally, like, look at that stuff very often. But apparently we're just six viewers, six followers away from 500 in the goat barn. Which is crazy. Out of control. Wild. Absolutely wild. Huh. Hi. Hi. Hi, Kristoff. How are you, sir? Did you get enough tree? It's interesting, um, of the three trees right here, like, this tree that's closest to me, like, they're not interested in that bark. I wonder why. Because they, they look like they're the same kind of trees. Oh, wait, maybe not. Mesh waving his beard around like a beautiful lady. <laughs> huh, like a beautiful lady. Is this, this is all you want forever, huh? Just me doing this? I can do this for a while. Probably not forever though, unfortunately. I hate to, to be the bearer of bad news, Kristoff. I know. You're just a good baby. You will always be my baby. You will always be my baby. You will. Is that a good spot right there? It feels tight. Are you feeling tense, sir? Do you need a goat massage? Because it feels tight in here. Are you holding, hey, excuse me. <laughs> Are you holding tension in your body? <laughs> oh, my baby. Oh, my baby boy. Did you just need some really good lovin's? Do you just need some really good lovin's? Are you just the biggest baby that there ever was? This whole time you've been pretending to be the big bad, the big boss boy in charge, but really you're just a big baby. Yeah? You're just a big baby, and you just want to cuddle with mama? I get it. I get it. I understand. Let me give you the cuddles that you're needing. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Good baby. I know. I know. Yeah, I will rub all your tense spots and give you your little goat massage, and you give me the nicest snuggles in the whole wide world. 
<laughs> he says yes mama that feels so good right i know the like falling into me of it i think was where it was like oh okay clearly you are needing some rubbing in these spots huh yeah yeah because you're tight your muscles are tight you've been busy boy being in charge of everybody telling everybody what to do trying to get the girls i know i know it's hard it's hard to be a big boy it's hard to be the boss but you're doing it you're doing a good job you are yeah i know i know i know oh christoph it's okay bud you're just a baby you're just a big baby my baby forever baby baby <laughs> oh honey have you just been needing some good snuggles come here i've got gotcha. you you're okay everything is good you're doing everything you're supposed to yeah <laughs> Oh, and this is Kristoff right here. Mash is somewhere over uh, by the barn now. Hi, Mickey. I know. Right now it's Kristoff's turn. Kristoff is needing some extra attention and some extra affirmation. So we're going to let Kristoff have that, Mickey. You're going to leave him alone. <laughs> he needs the snugglies. I just had an impromptu phone interview. They'll be scheduling formal ones within the next 48 hours and are very motivated to move forward ASAP. Let's go, Marlo! Let's go hype in the chat for Marlo. I will be sending all the vibes and lifting up some prayers and all kinds of stuff and all of that for you. Um, sending all the things that they liked your impromptu phone interview and they'll be reaching out to you. And who knows? Moving forward fast. Let's go. Um, I know Kristoff is so big. Well, and Kristoff is a dad too. I think because he's dad to... Uh, Steven and Raya to Darlin's kids. And so, Kristoff is a dad. Yay! Hype, hype, hype! <laughs> but yeah, he is a big boy. Because what, Kristoff was born um, February 2020... 2020? It must have been 2020. That can't be right. 2021. Because it was when we were in our Longview house. Um, February 27th, I believe. And he's just such a good boy. Yeah. What are some affirmations that you need to hear today? Because I was just thinking that while I'm, like, giving Kristoff all these, like, nice cuddles and stuff, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm saying things to him that I'm saying to myself, too, right? That, like, you're doing what you're supposed to. You're doing your best. That's all you can do. And sometimes you feel sore and sometimes you just need to snuggle, huh? Do you want to come in for some more snuggles, sir? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, okay, come on. Come on. There we go. I do love Kristoff's like face uh, markings are so pretty. Huh, are you just a pretty boy? I get it. Tell them to go poop themselves? Oh, sorry. I need to read the message before that first. I was like, wait, what? Uh, they were wondering if I would be willing to start immediately if they do extend offer. And instead of giving two weeks notice, and honestly, I usually try to give two weeks notice. But yes, you should definitely tell your job to go poop themselves. Absolutely throw poop at your job. Um, they have been keeping you in a permanent state of emotional trauma and stress and fear for how long? They do not deserve your... Uh, kindness around timing of your leaving, of your departure. They don't deserve that from you. They haven't earned it. Uh, yes, that's the job that you're at because they wouldn't extend that courtesy to you. Exactly. Start immediately. Well, I mean, if you can have like a week off in between just so you can have a break, but like literally as soon as you have the yes and you filled out the like the W uh, fours and everything, like leave previous job 
and be like, okay, I can start in one week. And that way you at least have a week to rest and come and cuddle loads. Huh. Because you want a week in between that, at least a week in between new jobs anyway, right? Because like one, for most companies, like how long will it be before your PTO kicks in, before you'll be able to have another week off? And, um, and you know, you want to make sure that they know like your future dates that you're already planning to have off, but I'm not trying to get your hopes up, but it sounds good. We can, so my mindset with that kind of stuff is we can have our hopes up. We don't have our expectations up. Keep our expectations low, but keep our hopes high. Because then somewhere in the middle is where, like, actuality happens. And where we get to have, like, joyful moments. And honor, like, the disappointments and the grief that come when our expectations are met. And so, that's usually my mindset with that kind of thing. Huh. I know. I know. Oh, Kristoff, you just need a lot of attention today, and that is okay. Sometimes we just need a little bit extra, huh? Sometimes we just need a little bit more. Absolutely. Absolutely, my friend. <laughs> I know, you're just my baby. Kristoff was my first baby, and he will always be my first baby, huh? Just kind of like how Tiny Totes is first baby. Another dad advice nugget. Dad advice from Daddy Totes. Uh, hopes high, expectations low. It's, a, I, it's advice. I, I don't know if it's good advice, but it's advice that I use. And it has served me mostly well. It has helped me to not be, to not uh, live in despair with, so many disappointments in the world, right? Because I think it's so easy for us to get caught up in feeling hopeless. And so I will take all the hope wherever I can find it. Um, and from there, I don't know. <laughs> like, we can hope for things. Just because the world disappoints us often doesn't mean that hope isn't real. Huh, Kristoff, what do you think? I've stopped petting you. What are you going to do? He's like, well, now I have to pet myself. Good self-soothing boy. <laughs> I don't know. I just love watching the goats. Like, look at, look at Monster Mash and his little, like, I just love his little head wobble. Like, his, he's just a model. He just knows it, huh? Beauty queen. You know. Yeah, are you needing some extra cuddles today? Do you need to be told that you're doing everything you're supposed to? That you're doing your best? And that it is good enough? And that there's always a chance to try something new? This has been Totes Talk. <laughs> Totes Talk with the goats. Well, I've been wanting to do more, like, I think part of it was I got a new phone, and so I had to figure out how to, like, replicate my previous, um, like, mobile streaming abilities, um, and that took me a little bit, and so, but it has been too long since we've gotten to just do a sit with the goats and hang kind of streams, and so I'm hoping to do more of them, one, because, this, like, streaming it means that I'm going to sit out here for longer. And I need to, right? Like, my body needs this hour to sit here. Huh, Mash? I know. I know. You're a good boy. <laughs> goats and totes and totes and goats. It's true. Now if I could just motivate myself to make some soap. I'm, so I've been, like, looking at the soap that I made a few weeks, like, right before I left for Ohio. Um, on that crazy day where I made three batches and I had that one that looked really pretty in the loaf and I'm just like, maybe I'll post some pictures in the discord and get some advice. I might at Ainsley cause I know that Ains has made soap before too. And maybe Marlo, I know, um, if you guys could look at it for me cause I'm just like not sure if the batches are good. Um, and I think that it might've just been that I tried to do too much and that 
that happens. But I do want to get back into making soap more regularly and getting back into doing like the Instagram polls for soap making and stuff because that was really fun for me and I, I've missed it. But I think that like as last year kind of uh, snowballed into me quitting and everything, I had just kind of gotten to the point where like I needed to be able to have more creative outlets and stuff that weren't um, as body intensive if that makes sense because like soap making is pretty body intensive like I'm up I'm standing I'm moving around I'm moving quickly there's a certain amount of like pressure around making sure that I'm doing everything in the right amount of time and so I think that um similarly to like I need this extra time with the goats right now I want to be uh taking some of that time to make some delicious smelling soap. I'm all, almost out of soap myself. Like, Grumpy put ivory soap in my shower. I don't know where it came from. I don't know why we have it. And I'm so upset. And I refuse to use it because it hurts my body. <laughs> and, like, let's be real. It's not good for anybody. Hamash. Huh, oh my goodness, my friend. Um, but I also just think that, like, I haven't been doing, like, I've had to rely on Grumpy a lot more, um, in the mornings especially, to help with the goats, because it's been hard for me to get up, and so I'm hoping that, at least for the next couple of weeks, where my hormones are in this cycle, I'm able to, um, wake up, and, and at least, even if Grumpy opens the, the goat barns for me, at least try to make a point to come and spend some time. Because the goats need it too. I need it and they need it. I think Kristoff's uh, like falling into me cuddles is proof of that, that they're all needing some extra attention right now. And so, huh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I know, yeah, that, well, and literally like, I poked my head out of the shower. No, actually, I think it was yesterday. I physically got out of the shower, naked, dripping everywhere. And, I, and Grumpy was in a meeting, and so I was just, like, whispered from far away, like, could you or Tiny Totes get me some soap um, from the garage? Because there's plenty of soap butts, and, um, like, that's one way I can test the bars I made a few weeks ago. Is we're right about the point where they should be cured enough that I could use them so I could test one of those. And Grumpy was just like, oh, well, there's ivory soap in there. Why can't you use that? And I was just like... I would rather be dirty. I would rather be dirty. Huh. I know. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mash. Hi. Hi. I know. I appreciate the cuddles. I do. And I have a bunch of fragrances that I haven't even gotten to really try yet. So I'm really... Oh, my goodness. Hello. So I'm very interested in, um, in that, too. Hi, Mash. What is ivory soap? So it's like... Um, like, Dove soap from the store is ivory soap. Like, it's fine. And I think it's fine for, like, your hands and stuff, too. But, like, it tends to be very drying because it's, like, very, very overprocessed. There tends to be, like, a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> and, um, like, yeah. And so, like, ivory soap, like, Dove tends to have ivy ivory soap. I think technically Irish Springs is considered an ivory soap. Um or they have an ivory soap. It's just like the white bar soap, basically, that you get from the grocery store. And it's fine. It will get you clean, sort of. But I don't know. It's not, not for me. <laughs> not for me, huh, Mash? Which means I need to probably make some more soap, huh? You want a soap day with me? I want to bring you the Doctor Who themed fragrances. I mix myself and make some bars. Yes! Honestly, Marlo, pick a day. Pick a day and let's do it, you and me. That sounds super fun. I would love to do that. Oh, I think th there probably is a, a brand too. Oh, you have tight muscles on your side too, sir. Do you need a goat massage? My friend, let me help you. Is that a good spot? How is that? Is that so good? Is that what you've been needing? Oh my goodness. Your muscles are so tight. You have so many big muscles and you're so strong and you use them so well, but you got to remember to stretch them out sometimes too, huh, bud? Yeah, is that the good spot? Yee. 
You want to live in Washington so you can hang out more? I know. I wish you could too. Someday, maybe. But at the very least, at least you have flight benefits. Yes. So you get to come and be with us in person more often. Um, Marlowe's themed soap would be welcome. Yes. I also have some really um, fun themed fragrances. I've got like a wizard's and like a wizard themed fragrance that I think reminds me a lot of like bookstore fragrances. Um and a few others and so there's some fun stuff that I want to do I just like partly it's also I mentioned this yesterday as well like I want to do some reorganizing of my stream area because something that happens in our garage is that uh things kind of get pushed towards my corner and it's my fault too like I do this as well like you know package comes in or um excuse me mash everybody can have pets <laughs> But I think, like, you know, it is, I am, I'm always grateful when we're able to all hang out in person, however that looks. But I'm also just grateful that, like, to have the internet to be able to sit and spend my Friday morning with you guys and with the goats. Like, this is lovely. <laughs> and, and this wouldn't be possible without, like, Twitch and stuff as well. So, you know, we take, we take what we can get when we can get it, I suppose, is maybe the best way. <laughs> Christoph, are you getting that tree? Are you winning? Are you winning with the tree? <laughs> He's doing good. I wonder, I'm gonna go investigate where the other boys are, huh? Let's investigate. Because I. Oh, excuse me. Dewey. What? 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 What is it? What do you want? Yes? What do you need? What are you what are you hoping for, sir? Hmm? Scrim. <laughs> He's like, oh no. She's following me. I am. It's true. <laughs> I keep uh turning the slide the right way, and they keep fully turning it over. And I don't know how. I've never seen them actually do it, but I'm gonna put it back and we'll see what happens. Hi, can I come sit over here by you guys? Just to see? Just for a minute? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Mash. <laughs> I know. I know. Hi, hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah, you don't need to do anything. I'm just here. Yeah, I'm just here. Hi. Do you want more goat massage, Mash? Is that what this is? Hi, Dewey. I see you. I want to touch your ear. I touched it. I touched you. Oh, Dewey. Dewey, let me pet him. Oh, good boy. Steven. Steven's like, nope, you're too close. <laughs> Goat face. Yes, very good. Here, we'll give you, yeah, you definitely, your muscles are very tight, sir. We need to give all the goats their goat massages. Help their muscles. Help them to be strong. Huh. I know. I know. <laughs> the neighbor dog says hello. Woof woof. Woof woof. What are you doing before work today, Yasmin? And Lottie, did Jojo ever give you a break? <laughs> huh. Dewey, if you want pets, you know how to get them. You can walk over here. Dewey and Dandelion ears. I know, I'm so obsessed with their ears. They're so cute. They're like this like perfect combination of uh, Lark and Mash ears. I just, I, I very much enjoy. <laughs> Watching me? Well, that's very, very sweet and good. Ha. Huh. I know. 
I know, Mash, you are a big baby. You used to be so shy. You used to be so shy you would not come near me. I know, and now you're just my big baby, aren't you? Are you my big baby? Yes? Big baby? Big boy? Yes. Are you going to try and eat my selfie stick too? Why? <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for BF to get home. He's bringing food. Very good. He's eating at the moment, so it's quiet. That's good. Well, hopefully you're able to, like, get some time for yourself today as well. Like, I know I'm, I'm kind of in that same boat where it's like, you know, oh, school's almost starting. I want to spend more time with tiny totes because we're going to have less time once school starts. But then also, like, I'm just so tired. <laughs> like, I just want, like, to be able to sit at my computer and, like, zone out and get some, like, video editing done. And it's just so hard. It's just so hard. You are also big baby. That's true. All my babies. All my babies get good massages and cuddles. Look at you. Look at your beard. I know. I'm showing you off. Look at you. Look how good you are. What good boy. What good boy. <laughs> I know you're a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> huh. Like, literally last night. So, like, one thing, I don't, I don't know if this is something that other parent, and maybe it's an age thing as well. So Tiny Totes has been struggling with um, taking responsibility when she makes mistakes or does things that maybe she knew were going to be wrong. But um, so she tends to blame the fairies. And so um, she says, oh, the fairies did that. The fairies did that. And so like, the best, like, rather than trying to, like, tell her, no, that's not true. Like, why don't you tell me what really happened? I ask, like, oh, well, tell me what happened with the fairies. Tell me, like, how did this happen? And so, like, last night the fairies apparently dumped water and paint everywhere in the living room while I was streaming and Grumpy was working at their desk on work stuff. <laughs> and so, like, we had to have a whole conversation about, you know, why the fairies shouldn't be carrying water all around and uh, what are some ways that the fairy that she can help the fairies to make up for the mistake that they made, um, which led to some like nice apologies through tiny totes from the fairies but it's just like at what point do i push back on the fairy thing because like i'm we're at a point right now where i'm eight, like she is taking responsibility in, in in like the way that she's able to but she's not like technically admitting that she did something wrong but she's apologizing for the fairies doing something wrong i don't know but that's like the other pieces like man i would like to be able to go and sit on my computer but oh my god look how dirty my hands are gross um i would like to go and sit on the computer and do some video editing but if i leave tiny totes alone what what mess will i come back to and she doesn't if she doesn't want to like sit with me then i need to be like constantly like going and checking and making sure that the fairies aren't up to antics huh fairy antics which to be fair I totally get <laughs> huh and she has been busy like painting and like making all kinds of like beautiful things like she has painted all these like little pictures just on a regular paper and so then she had grumpy help her with a big string of yarn and she's hung them up in the living room in a way that's actually not out of the way so that's very nice but it is definitely definitely a lot Mash, sir. And Kristoff, hello. I like how I come over here to be with you guys, and then the babies go over to the tree again. Are you leaving me too, Kristoff? <laughs> no. Hi. Oh, are you my baby? I love how Kristoff does just, like, fall into me. Like, he just collapses into baby mode. We're still teaching the other boys how to be babies, huh? They're still learning. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Mash? Hmm? Hmm? 
Yeah, I love you too. I do. I do. Should we go see if the girls will be more interested in my pets now that I smell like dirty boy goat? What do you think? Yes? Do you think they'll like the dirty boy goat smell that you guys have gotten all over me? Now that I'm stinky too? Yeah? What do you think? Kristoff? Shall we go see the girls? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Boop, I love you. Okay. I'll stand up. I'll start moving. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, I see. <gasps> I see tiny feral kitties. Hang on, hang on. Let me get the boys closed up. And see if we can't visit tiny kitties. Ready? Tiny kitties. Hi, tiny kitties. Hello. You're so teeny. How close will you let me get to you? How close can I get to you? Teeny tiny kitty. Oh, I'm running away. Okay, goodbye teeny tiny kitties. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're doing good. Let's go to the girls. <laughs> Look at the boys, now they all want attention. See, this is what happens, is I like get ready to start moving inside. Excuse me, girls. And everybody just starts screaming. Everybody just starts screaming. Hi. I know, I'm coming to you. I'm, this is where I'm trying to be. I would love to come and hang out with you guys. Can I please? Excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. You attempted to negotiate and I'm hoping I didn't mess it up. Ooh, I want to hear more. Like with the phone interview people? Trying to also work on your VTuber model because you're still not satisfied? I totally get that. Huh, I know, I'm gonna come and sit on the playhouse with you guys for a minute. Come on. Do you mean just like in terms of like what you want for your payroll? or because honestly here's the thing I always ask when doing anything career related if I were a man could I do slash say slash behave in this way and have it be considered uh, ambitious or professional if yes then it's fine <laughs> huh Hi, Raya. I know you're so cute. I know I smell like boy goats. Very interesting. Adora is very interested. Probably too interested, actually. Huh. There's a lot of yelling happening around here. A lot of yelling. I pushed for a bump on what they were offering and said, if they would do that much, I would have no qualms not giving a two weeks notice. I think that's a totally reasonable, professional, and fair way to respond, especially when they're asking for, with, for such urgency. Um, like, I, I think that's totally fair. And if just asking for it means that they would not want to hire you, then you probably wouldn't want to work for them anyway, honestly. Hello, Mwah. thank you. Thank you for that little kiss. I appreciate it. Yes, I love you very much. Yes, mwah, mwah, mwah. yes. Hi, I know I smell like boys. What do you think? <laughs> I know. Hi, hi. Yes. Yes. Hi. I know my hands are very dirty. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mm. Hi, Lark. <laughs> Oh, 
my goodness. You are so silly. Mwah. So silly. So silly. Ow, you're standing on me. Excuse me. Ma'am, ma'am, you are too big to sit in my lap. I'm sorry. You are 70 pounds. You're too big. Oh, Daisy says, can I have milk? And Lark is like, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I think that's a totally reasonable request. Like, request. Um, Lark, excuse me, ma'am. That is not very kind behavior. Not very kind. Lark said, no, mine. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I can pet you both. Well, or I can, excuse me. She's like trying to put her whole, my whole hand in her mouth. Um. Mm-hmm. Hi. Yes. I know. I know. <laughs> Adora, what if I told you about pawing at me? When you paw at me or when you bite at me, it makes me not want to pet you. I know. I see you with your creepy little teeth trying to get my selfie stick to come over to you so I pet you more. But then Lark is going to fight you. Excuse me? Can I help you, ma'am? Excuse me? Mm-mm. No. There we go. Oh, well, I was going to pet you once you stopped trying to nibble on me, but then Lark said no. <laughs> Lark decided. Hmm. I know you're doing very good. What good girls. Hi, Elsa. I love Elsa's little, like, white marks on her face. I wish I could get her to love me like Adora loves me. But time. It's all about time. I think Adora was kind of, like, immediately lovey, though. Huh. Were you immediately lovey? Were you immediately, like, all for the pets and cuddles and attention? Pretty much. Pretty much. True, true. Are you trying to bite me? Don't do it. You can nibble. Nibbles are fine. No bites. <laughs> Tammy. Miss Hot Tamale. Tammy Tam. Tammy. 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 I would love to pet you. I smell like boy goats. I think Darlin's also probably in heat. I don't know if you can see her over here. There we go. Lots of tail waggings happening around here. A lot of tail wagging happening around here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. All right. My hand is so dirty. Do you like that? It's so dirty. Uh, Yasmin, what would you want different about your VTuber model? Like, what, what are you, like, wanting with her, or with them, um, for them to look different? Or is it not a matter of them looking different, but just, like, how they move differently? Huh. Huh. Yeah. Are you just my baby? Are you just my little baby? You like my dirty hands? Why, I cannot imagine. <laughs> Why, I cannot imagine. Oh my goodness, Adora, you are very cute. Adora is actually the same age as Kristoff. She's like a week younger, I think. So that's what it is. I think Kristoff is February 20th and she's February 27th. 2021 um for birthdays and then i think tammy just had a birthday i think larch is a march baby lark is a march baby and uh i know mickey mouse has the same birthday as tiny totes march 31st and monster mash i think might be a january baby i have it all written down in in the goat notebook <laughs> The Notebook of Goats. Hala, Adora. Huh. 
Yes. It's a very large notebook, which I probably just want to move into an Excel spreadsheet eventually, but have not yet. Yes. Adora, the selfie stick is not a food. And I am not a food. I continue to not be a food. Why? Why? <laughs> here, come here. Come to me. Come here. Come all the way. Come here. There. That's a good girl. See, that's how you get the real good snuggles. You get the real big hugs, huh? Yeah, so nice. So nice to have those really big hugs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Adora, is that really... <laughs> Do you think that's um, a good plan? I don't quite know what your plan is, actually. Because you're holding my arm and the selfie stick. and Because you want to... Okay, you want to rub your head on the selfie stick. I see. Um, I just, I don't know how, how helpful that will be for everyone else. I know. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, friends. I'm going to go move inside uh, so we can do, like, outro and stuff. But thank you for hanging. And uh, you will see me back at my desk in just a moment. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, Adora, stop it. <laughs> Let's try it this way. I'm going to take you with me. Because <laughs> all the girls have so much to say. I know, come on. It's like as soon as I decide to start moving inside, you guys can. And you just start yelling. So much yelling. Hi, Daisy. Look at Daisy's ears. Ah, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Huh. Okay, okay. I'm focused. Oop. I'm moving inside. <laughs> but yes, also, I agree. Come live. Come to Washington. Uh, there is room on the farm. Um, okay, I'm going to turn this off and then switch over to my camera, so you should see me. Well, actually, maybe I'll just stay on this. That might be easiest, because then I don't have to worry about all the things. So, let's... How close can you be to my face right now? There we go. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Amazing. Hmm. My like selfie stick tripod doesn't actually work, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out this morning. I don't know about you, but I really needed a good, you know, hour and a half of goat time today. Honestly, like I just needed to be able to like sit and cuddle the goats and babble talk and hang with you guys. So thank you so much. Um, this was exactly what I needed this morning. I hope that you do whatever you need for you today. Take care of yourself. Um, maybe it's getting a cuddle or just uh, remembering that you are worth it. And so, um, I don't know what this is or where this came from, but I'm very upset by it. There's like a big piece, I'm not going to show you because it's gross, but there's like a big piece of like dusty fuzz on top of my desk. Like it came from the ceiling. I... I'm just going to throw it away. I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to pretend like it's not there. This is a very good serotonin. Yay! I'm glad. I am hoping um, to do goat stream, especially tomorrow, because Saturdays are like our normal goat stream day. And um, But basically, as often as I can, even if I know I'm going to stream like video games later, just to like take you guys along with me, because I probably would have only spent a half an hour cuddling the goats today if I didn't have you guys. So I just really appreciate it you want and so thank you and let's go see if we can find a friend to go and visit unless let's see um because i am probably gonna move into shower pretty quick once i know that tiny totes is okay but um i would love to find a friend to watch while i maybe get to do some video editing 
maybe but one can hope <laughs> let's see hmm. I don't know I have been like enjoying watching a lot of folks play uh, Cult of the Lamb I don't know about you guys but yeah, I think we're going to go and see Kanda M. They're playing Cult of the Lamb, and I just want to watch more because I, it's on my list. I want it so bad. <laughs> I know, I miss doing more of the goatee stuff, so we'll have to do that for sure. But yeah, so I'm going to get that raid started. Um, I, I won't be streaming later today, obviously, but I probably will be around in the Discord. Depending on if I'm able to get my video editing done, I might even be hanging in quiet time with Goat Cam up. If you want to come and hang out in there with me later, you are more than welcome. Um, other than that, here is the sub raid command. Here is the raid command if you want to copy those um, to come along with us to go see Kanda. And I'm going to get that raid started. Maybe. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. I'm hoping to be back tomorrow for more, with more goats. And maybe, probably just more goats tomorrow. I think that's probably, I'm not going to tr try more than that. Scroll up to my first message. <gasps> goat! A goat raid! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid! Uh, my name is Kanda, I use she, her as pronouns, and uh, I draw, and I play games. And today we are playing the cult game. It looks like you can just go down. Oh! Thank you. Apparently I'm blind. Because I I, I don't wanna do any anything more with the uh the poison that was out.